very important in our present world and for our future world to learn to work together to learn to live together and to learn to work together if we are going to become civilized societies right societies of knowledge not societies of war okay if we are going to overcome violence and injustice we're going to become societies of knowledge uh, capable of living together in diversity and and um, teamwork is going to be key notice scientists nowadays in the past it was all about one scientist getting the Nobel Prize, one scientist discovering, one scientist, na na na, and it was not true. It was not true, but that was history. Okay? Today it's more real. It's about teams of people uh, and, uh, and teams. Okay, I, I hope that we can watch a documentary I have on art to do. To expand on this so you can learn more about how it's very important not to start from scratch all the time how it's important to continue to, to keep in mind what other people did and to continue developing our knowledge from there okay materials do you remember that I send you an email please everybody stop your life in this very moment and create a fucking template for this course where you can include in the in the header up up there now your name and the year the course year and then uh, as you start the document task description fucking task description task description column and then when you create a document you create it from your template and you just remember you never forget to write your fucking name to write the course because it's there on the header it's always there and then you never forget to include the task description okay remember what I explained in class when we present a text when we present a piece of communication we're going to share with people I mean we need to present it we cannot start off like that we need to introduce what we are what we are going to say do you see what I mean if not it's it's harder for people listening to us if I start this video by saying Okay, about Jose and Sergio's presentation, blah, blah, blah. And I don't introduce that this video is about giving feedback to people who prepared a project for the writing file, da, 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 da. If I don't give you this background information, well, only the people who have that background information, who shared that moment, will understand what the video is about. And maybe other some other people will understand something, uh, uh, will get something, uh, get pillar, entender, uh, as they continue listening and listening, if they have ever been in courses like this, you know what I mean, but why make life harder for everybody, I mean, why can't we make life easier uh, for, for people, okay, make life nicer and easier, for everybody okay uh, so ease the path ease e a s e ease the path is the comprehension path for our listeners for the people who are listening to us okay okay yes I'm inviting everybody to mention sources and to mention if you did teamwork to mention teamwork and if you don't mention it in the in the oral presentation itself it's very interesting for our newsletter very interesting that we record how we work in our course newsletter okay so may which is going to be our evaluation month it is going to be the month where you present the end of course projects and the end of course newsletter that you will have to produce. I am producing the newsletter now to show you how you can create a newsletter, but you will have to produce a newsletter. Okay, so uh, as, a, as a group with everybody's 
selection of, of things you want to show the world, okay? So we can show the world that evaluación continua is not about regalarle el aprobado a la gente. And evaluación continua is uh, a, a more reliable source of information than uh, an exam you take in one day because we have information about people's uh, level and progress. We have a lot of information about people's level and progress because we have information about their work throughout the whole year. That is why people need to come to class or, uh, or keep sending in work and sending in their, their projects. See? Because we are learning. Even though the teacher cannot be writing down all the things, all, all the information, I, I, I write down as much as I can, but it's, uh, and, and students need to be the ones who write it down and send the teacher their learning report at the end of the month. If students don't send the teacher their learning report at the end of the month, there is not enough written information about their work, maybe. That is why on the eCampus I created the section where you can upload your assignments because I saw that a lot of people were not, uh, were not giving me the monthly learning reports, okay? Evaluación continua is complex and everybody needs to work a lot, both teachers and students, okay? But you see, if we don't do it uh, together, the other alternative is textbook, textbook and exams every two or three months. And for me, as, as the law allows me to choose the methodology, I'd rather spend the year working together with people and learning together with them and having fun and discovering things and learning from people and helping people learn than be sad and bored and things with, with what, I, what bores me, which is exams, bore me to death. I don't like exams because I had a very hard time in the system when I was a student and I thought I was not very intelligent and I thought I was a failure of a person of, and of a learner and it turned out it was quite the opposite. It, it turned out I was a very curious and imaginative person and my intelligence was okay but the system was not good for me because it always you know made me feel like I was wrong and and that is why for me it's so important uh, to respect uh, I mean to to tell people please respect the fact that in Spain we we respect methodology both uh, people's wisdom la sabiduría popular, cada maestrillo tiene su librillo, aunque sea masculino, and our constitution, which is the most important law we have, the academic freedom, no? And, and, and please respect that, because, uh, because uh, uh, teaching is very hard, and there are a lot of cognitive um, ways you know, uh, there are a lot of ways to learn and to interact and to help each other learn. And, and there are more interactive and group-like and, you know, communicative ways of learning than just working on textbooks in isolation at home or, you know, we, we work with projects, individual or teamwork projects. You can do something individually too if you like. But you can also work in teams. We can do workshops together, or you can think about the workshops at home. By the way, something else you could be gathering words on is our workshop on lexical creativity and word formation. I mean, you have a lot of things I gave you to work on 